Hey guys, this is Brendan from Anime Chat Reviews, and today's review will be on Boku no Hero. I hope you enjoy. In the world of Boku no Hero, every person's status is governed by quirks, a unique superpower that develops during childhood. The appearance of these quirks is slowly increasing over the years, with 80% of humanity possessing different abilities from manipulation of the elements, such as shape shifting. This leaves the remainder of the world completely powerless, like Isuku, as he is one of them. Isuku dreams to become a superhero ever since he was a child. His unfair fate leaves him admiring heroes and taking notes of them whenever he can until he meets All Might, the greatest hero of all time, which he shares his power with him to lead Izuku's transformation from a dreamer to an actual superhero. The beginning of the episode was already a drama. Well, not really, but the main character, even though he doesn't have any acquired power yet, still manages to put all his efforts in to becoming a hero, which is kind of good. This show already has a slice of life feel to it, although it's an action and superhero genre. You can learn something on this show and hoping there's more lessons that come from it. The show is great for family or friends, or to an individual who has dreams yet to achieve. Izuku is an ordinary middle school student in a world full of quirks, which is the norm pretty much, seeing how 80% of the population has this. However, since he was a child, he wanted nothing more than become a superhero despite being bullied by his classmates for not having a quirk. Until one day he meets his number one hero and his personal idol, All Might, who shares his power with him. All Might's quirk is a unique ability that can be inherited. After recognizing Izuku's value, he was chosen to be his successor and enrolls him to UA Academy, a high school famous for its excellent teaching programs for heroes. With his bizarre but talented classmates and the looming threat of villainous organization, Izuku will soon learn what it really means to be a hero. It's always exciting to know a little bit about the characters in the show, so now we're going to hear a little bit about them. Izuku, or Deku, is our main protagonist of the series. He is Tim but a very kind boy who has great knowledge about heroes and dreams he can one himself. Then we have Katsuki, one of Izuku's childhood friends and a classmate who Izuku calls Kachan. His quirk is called Explosion, which allows his palm sweat to become nitroglycerin. He has made fun of Deku for lacking a quirk ever since he was a child, despite being close friends and also, he is the one who gave him his nickname. Chaku, Isuku's best friend, is a friendly and kind girl that Isuku met during the entrance exam. Her quirk is zero gravity, which allows her to make any object she touches with her hands float. However, there is a drawback to this. She does become nauseous if she does use this ability too much. You will get to know them more throughout the series, of course. There are more notable characters throughout the show. The art of no Hero is not bad by any means, it's just normal. The whole animation is kind of ordinary and very simple with the cartoon style art, which makes it kind of unique though. The series is somehow based from a comic book. The objects and the other stuff were easily made, and especially the background, but the characters are properly emphasised well. For the soundtrack, the voice acting of the characters is sold and clear, since this plays a big part to the actual audience watching it. The opening theme titled The Day by Porno Graffiti is fast and catchy to the ear. As I listened, the visuals along with it were very good and it fits the mood quite well. The ending theme, Heroes, by Brian the Sun is an amazing song. It was more centered on Isuku's character as he comes to achieving his dreams. Every action and battle sound effect is actually pretty good. Although it is overused, it does fit pretty well. To make everything short, the story is kind of a childish one but it doesn't actually stop me from watching it as a grown-up. The plot gets a location where it really gets going, just like Full Metal Alchemist. If you don't know what Full Metal Alchemist is, you might want to check out the review we've recently done on this. The story is not original, but all the characters' quirks make the story interesting enough that while the characters have their own quirky personalities and are fun in their own way, they don't have anything much to offer beyond that point and will eventually become plain and forgettable. I always found that an original soundtrack is very catchy for an anime. And this one sets a good atmosphere for the anime you were just about to watch. Therefore, I'll be giving this anime a B rank. The anime gives a simple comic like style to its art. I do actually like this though, and I would recommend this anime. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe.